What's up guys, Evil Deer here. So today I'm going to play Left 4 Dead, and this is actually the fifth time I've tried to play this game. Okay, so every other time I've, well, I've successfully played the game, but every time I've tried to record it, my voice is screwed up, um, it tried to save to the wrong drive, which didn't have enough space. Something has gone wrong, and it's driving me insane. So anyway, today I'm going to try and teach you um, some Esperanto words that are related to the game's content. Now, this is a zombie game, so I'm going to be teaching you words about the types of zombies that there are. I'm going to be teaching you weaponry words. Um, I'm going to teach you some basic grammar, things that I see around me, stuff like that. So, it should be a lot of fun, and it should be a bit educational as well. So, please, dear God, just let it record successfully. Let's begin. Okay. Let's see. Um, so, first up, I'm going to get a health pack and a shotgun. So, the word for... Um, uh, let's say health pack in Esperanto is sanigilo, sanigilo, because it's something that, it's a tool, ilo, that makes you healthy, which is igi, so like san igi is to make healthy, so sanigilo is a tool that makes you healthy. Now, the word for shotgun in Esperanto is, look at this zombie man, <laughs> he's like, I'm just going to scale this pole randomly. Um, so yeah, the, the word for uh, shotgun is a uh, Karatocha Fusilo and Karatocha, I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, I thought of something else then. So Karatocha means cartridge, okay? And the reason I wasn't too sure on that word is because I actually had to look it up myself before playing this game. So I'm actually learning words with you guys because shotguns are something I need to say in Esperanto very often. Um, oh, oh, you see this zombie? This zombie that that's like randomly running along and jumping a little bit. What he does is it try and jumps on top of you and then he rides you like a horse, okay? And what he does is he rides you into all these other little zombies that are running around everywhere. So, let's give a name to that zombie, shall we? In English, his name is Jockey, like a, a person that rides a horse. So, to translate that concept, the word for ride is ridey. Raidi, okay? Um, and the suffix for a person, now a zombie I know isn't exactly a person, but this is close enough, it's close enough. The suffix for a person is ulo, so raidulo will be the name for that zombie. It's a, a, a person or a zombie um, characterized as riding people, okay? Cool? Cool. So, um, I guess we might as well learn the word for zombie. Uh, in fact, in this game, these zombies that you see running around, they're not called zombies, according to the English um, name for the game. They're called, and they're called infected, but I just call them zombies anyway, so the word for zombie is zombio, and you'd know that if you'd watched my previous um, gaming videos where I think I played Infinite Zombies and Dead Island. Um, yeah, so it's just zombio, it's pretty easy to remember. Now you see this little bugger, how he's running along the ground here? What he does is he gets a little bit of distance on you, and then he charges directly at you, and like smashes you into like a pole or something like that. So he's called a charger. Now there is no word to charge I guess in Esperanto. Not that I know of. Maybe there's some obscure word. But so in order to create that concept we have to actually combine, combine two different verbs. So the verb for run is kuri. Kuri. Okay. And the word for say um what else we got? Uh, attack for instance is ataki. Ataki. So Oh, just checking if I got ammo. Yep. So to say someone who runs and attacks, that's kind of like a charge. You'd say kudataki, and then you, again you use the suffix ulo, which is person. So kudatakulo is the name for that zombie in particular. Ooh, I can get a handgun. So the word for a uh, gun, like a handgun, is pistolo in Esperanto. Just so you know. Pretty easy to remember. It's just like pistol. I'm just gonna shoot some new people when they try to get through the fence and get me. You'll never take me alive. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so yeah, now I've got a pistolo and I've got a caratocha fusilo. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but fusilo means rifle as well. So a shotgun is basically just a cartridge rifle. Okay, let's clear out this area around here. Check that we're all good. Shoot this guy. You should actually try and shoot these dudes in the head. Um, because that basically one hit kills and like all zombie like movies and video games and stuff. Um, and the word for head, we might as well learn that as well, is kapo, kapo. Now I know I'm blasting you with a lot of words right now, but in all honesty, you probably don't need to know them all. And you, you can learn them at your own leisure type of thing. What I do is I just try to teach you words in context. I just say random words and I tell you what they mean so you can see them in use in context. 
and I think that's probably the best way to learn any language. Now, did you see that like acidy spit stuff there? That's from a um, it's this is a zomba, a zomba. <laughs> it's like a mixture between zombie and zumba. <laughs> it's like a dancing zombie. It's like ooh, ooh. okay. So um, yeah, there was a zombie in here which I don't think you guys saw. Um, I'll refer to him later so that you guys know what I mean. Ooh, we have a machine gun here. By the way, the word for machine gun, you know, I might pick that up, is machine puffy lock. Okay. Oh, there we have a kuda takulo. Kuda takulo, right out there. I'm shooting him right now. So yeah, I have a machine gun. So that's a machine puffilo. And machino obviously means machine. Puffilo means like gun. So puffy is to shoot. It's a verb. Ilo is tool. Puffilo is a gun. Easy way to remember. Okay, you got to stay away from these alarmed cars, otherwise you get killed. Now, I am actually playing online, so we might have random people just join in on the game. I'm actually hoping so, because it always spices things up. But it doesn't look like... Ah, do you see the spit? You see the spit? Where is that zombie? Where is he? Is he alive? Ah, uh, it doesn't appear so. There's a zombie around here that spits on you. He's disgusting. Okay, let's go. Um. Oh, I've actually completed the first level. Come on, Nick. Let's get in here. I'm reloading. Awesome, so I'll probably just cut it here and then we'll just go back into the game straight away. Okay, so we've completed the first level. That was pretty quick. I didn't expect it to go by so fast. So I've just picked up a bomb. So that's bombo, just so you know. Ah, ammo. So this is probably a word a lot of Esperanos don't know. Um, the word for ammo uh, is munits. Uh, God, I can't even pronounce it correctly at the moment. It's munitsio, munitsio, okay? The reason being is... The word for a bullet is kuglo. However, not all of those are bullets. You've got shells, you've got cartridges, you've got all sorts of stuff. So, munitsio is the word for ammo. So, whenever you see a stockpile of ammo, you're looking at munitsio. Hey, what the hell? He actually hey, got me? At the moment, no human players involved. That's a bit sad. I like human Reloading. players. But let's, let's just light this place up, shall we? Let's just shoot all the zombies and make them all nice and angry. So, it looks like we've got some cars out here. Oh, you got to watch out for these police zombies. Okay, because you can only shoot them in the back to hurt them. So, the word for car is alto. Okay, alto. And that's a yellow car, so it's flava alto. Nice and yellow. Now, we've got a van here. And the word for van is camionetto. Now, that's actually... Um, well, okay, so the word camiono means truck. Camionetto is a small truck. Okay, because it's eto, it's the suffix for small. That's the word for van, just so you know. Wow, these guys are coming at me in mass. So, well, that's probably something you need to know, it's a highly useful word. Um, a horde of zombies, so what is a horde? It's just a mass, okay? So, to say a horde of zombies, you'd say a maso da zombioi. So we have a, a maso da zombioi, and they all want to kill me. I guess you could, oh, damn it! Ah, okay, you see this particular zombie? He's got his tongue sticking out of his mouth, and he's like trying to kill me and eat me and stuff. Um, that in the game is called a smoker, and I'm guessing it's because before that dude became a zombie, he was a heavy smoker. Watch, see how all the smoke comes off of him? But his main attribute is that long tongue. Oh, imagine him in sexual situations, man. Whoa! But yeah, okay, so he's, he's a tongue zombie, basically. And, ooh, we have another zombie there. So the word I would use for him is, first I guess I'd use the word tongue, and the word for tongue in Espino is lango, lango. Again, we'll use the suffix ulo, which is person, so langulo is thus ford that dude, the guy with the big tongue, the one that pleases all the girls. Okay, let's kill these zombies, keep moving. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got, what's this? No, I don't want to bat him. Um, let's shoot that guy, let's shoot her, punch him as well. By the way, in this game you can shoot and you can punch with your weapons. Now, the word to hit in Espanol is bati. That's the verb, okay, bati. Um, normally to say punch, you'd say pugno bati. Pugno is like a closed fist, like a clenched fist. However, we're not actually punching like with a fist, we're punching with a weapon. So, in this case I'd say pati per pafilo, which means to hit by means of a weapon or by a gun. Or with a gun type of thing. <laughs> Puffy Law. It's almost a tongue twister. Try to say that a hundred times. Bati per Puffy Law. Bati per Puffy Law. Bati per Puffy Law. Oh, man. That, that's hard. That's hard. That's a good practice one right there. Probably not the best to say in, like, these stressful situations. Ooh! I have, like... I don't know what this type of gun is. It's like a, um... I don't know, a sniper of some sort. Oh, there we go. We got another Langula just there. 
Now let's go. Oh, okay. You see this big guy? He's what you call a tank. And he hits you, you go flying, it hurts, all's bad. So the word for tank in Esperanto, I mean, sorry, yeah, yeah, the word for tank is tanko, tanko. But that's like talking about a vehicle, like a, you know, maybe a military tank or something, not like a zombie tank. So in order to, oh, Jesus Christ Almighty, see me? I just went flying. Um, the way to say this guy, I guess, would be you'd also use the suffix ulo for person. So tankulo is him. He's a tankulo. Hey, okay, let's move forward. Onward to glory! Okay, what else we got? Shoot him in the arm because that's what you do. Now, the cool thing about this gun is. Take that. You can um, zoom with this game. So that's a zombie. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's been a while since I've played this game. It's one of my favorites, actually. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's a health pack there. I'm going to take that health pack. That Sanigilo. So first, Nisanigasmin, I'm healing myself, then I'm going to pick up another. I am surprised yet, no one else has joined me in this game. Usually people come in so fast. It's, I don't know, maybe it's the wrong time of the day or something. Okay, let's see what we've got out here. Oh, Jesus, Charger. Kuda Takulo. Man, he just axed me. Politisto, that's word for police. Oh, great, now Langulo's on me. Uh, come on. Okay, I'm going to, in second, chuck this bomb, bomb off, because it attracts them. They run towards you like idiots, because it makes noises. They like, ooh, loud noises. I'm going to go check that out, boom, and then they're all dead. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a machine gun, so machine pafillo, and it looks like we're under a bridge. The word for bridge in Espan is ponto, just in case. Oh, langula, langula. Good, see that? He tried to get me with his big tongue. That dodgy bugger. I'm grabbing the molly. Okay, let's oh, get rid of that zombie as well. Let's go into this kind of safe looking room. Sekureyo, I guess. Okay, so I can take this. Or I can take... You know, I'm going to heal up now because this is uh, a point in the game where once you start going through, you just get hit with horde after horde of zombies. So let's begin, shall we? <laughs> okay. So I'm packed. Um, oh, you see this zombie here? Watch this. I'll shoot him, and it explodes. See, what happens is he explodes and puts all this like gook on you, and basically that attracts all those little annoying zombies. Um, so the word for him, I guess, would be explodulo, because he explodes. You know, to explode is explodi, and ulo again. Oh, we have a raidulo. He wants to get me. Not happening, mate. Not happening. Not today. Come on guys, pick it up, let's move, yup, take that, take some of that, and take some of that, and that, oh zombie zombie -y. you guys probably realise like nearly every game I play is a zombie game, and that's just because I've got some crazy fetish with zombies, not like some perverted sexual fetish, but like, I don't know, I just like zombie games, I like the fact that you can just get overwhelmed by this massive group of people, oh my god, oh no 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 no, that's bad, that's bad, Oh, uh, I have a Saltula on top of me. Saltula is a zombie that jumps and attacks, okay? So he jumps onto you, and once you're pinned down, you can't do anything. Um, that is really bad, because I haven't got a Sanigilo either. Is there any up here? Okay, um, basically now we just have to hang out. Hopefully someone will heal me, one of my guys. Ooh! Special Agent Scooby has joined my game, so we actually have a human player now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. By the way, um, I probably mentioned this in Infinite Zombies or some other game, but the pronoun I use for zombies is G, which means it. And the reason being is because a zombie isn't exactly a him or a her anymore, okay? They can't really make the species move forward. Well, I guess they could, but yeah, I'd just say no in this case, okay? No. Anyway, we're approaching the end of this game, so I'm just going to do some review of the words we've learnt. So, what was the word for the jumping zombie? It was saltulo, saltulo. Salty is to jump. Okay, what was the word for shotgun? It was karatocha fusilo, karatocha fusilo. And what was the word for handgun or pistol? It was pistolo, pistolo. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the end, eh? Oh, someone's healing me. Awesome, awesome. Because that would have been bad. That would have been really bad. 
Okay, I'm almost at the safe room. So if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see me play this type of game more and teach you more random Esperanto words, let me know in the comments below. Like it. Share it with your friends. Sharing helps me the most out of pretty much everything. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well then, you better have your own safe room because I'm going to find you. <laughs>